Folks filing into Fenway Park here in Boston on a fine Thursday evening for baseball. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Giancarlo Stanton, the league's top home run hitter, will look to widen his lead atop that board next. Chris Sale gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Thanks, Matt. Chris Sale, you're talking about one of the premier pitchers in the game of baseball. Big fastball, 95 to 98 miles an hour. Wipeout slider. Great comparison. He's the closest thing we've seen to Randy Johnson. A nightmare against lefties. Three-pitch guy, fastball, slider, and a changeup that's getting better all the time. He is a definition of a true ace. First offering on its way. First of four here to start the weekend as the game's first pitch is taken and it's strike one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. chopper towards first to his right Moreland and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out with that here's a look at the Yankees starting lineup how do they go about taking down their division rival Mark DeRosa yeah Matty you take a look at this lineup the one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases they are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their runs Here's big Aaron Judge lifetime against Chris Sale. He's got one hit in 16 tries 11 strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch and a swing as the bat goes flying toward the third base dugout but it looks like everybody was able to duck for cover. Hit hard but foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Missed with a slider. Well, that's a great take there, right there, on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. Ball to two balls and two strikes now. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. You know, D Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close, so I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Digging in, Jesus Aguilar. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. set here's the nothing to nothing pitch high fly ball out to straightaway center Bradley is there he hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away Giancarlo Stanton now and what a season he's having entering play leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped him up. Moreland has room in foul territory. And that retires the side. Yanks leave one. 
Yanks nothing. Sox coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. CC Sabathia will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Stepping in, Eduardo Nunez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams around, winning eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused in playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Right down Main Street caught him looking. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Yeah, I'm pretty excited to get a chance to watch Sander Bogarts do his thing. He had 20 ribbies last month. That's RBIs. That's ribeye stakes. However you want to put it, he drove in 20 men. When you're doing that over the course of a month, that's some pretty consistent hitting. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. Now the first pitch from CC. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Wind up and the 0 1. Heading out towards shallow right. Judge is on the move. In there, a base hit. Around first, digging for two. Around second now, and this ball still hasn't been fielded. Bogarts takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Boy, the home fans are loving that inside the parker. Looked like he was carrying a piano around his back when he rounded third, but he made it. Somebody get him an oxygen mask. Here's J.D. Martinez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The numbers coming in, 278 the average, 42 homers, and 102 RBIs. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Now Sabathia's 1-1. Squared that one up just a little late. The one two. And he's down low and he gets the call. Strike three looking. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Here's Mookie Betts. Previous history with Sabathia, he's a 333 hitter. pitch coming here it is hit high and deep out to left center field Hicks going back at the track and it bangs off the monster 
Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. Betts takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And he's safe at the plate. And they now lead by two. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Sabathia gets the sign. First pitch on its way. There's a strike. Hey, after giving up that extra base hit right there, I love the fact that he came back with much better location, much better execution. That might have woke him up. Throwing a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Some guys have no trouble hitting with two strikes, and some guys never want to get there. Let's see the approach right here. I'd like to see him shorten up a little bit, maybe choke up and try and work the ball back up the middle the other way. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. On to the second inning now from Fenway Park. The Red Sox on top, two to nothing. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. You know, when you're facing a top-of-the-line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. One and two to the Yankees catcher. The one two a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap should be no trouble for Bradley and there's out number one all right let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today and let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight Christian Vasquez lock in on this guy some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime the bats coming but the way he massages this pitching staff is should be your focus. Here's Didi Gregorius. Lifetime against Chris Sale. Just a 3 for 13 batting line. He also has one home run. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Tough pitch to lay off. The slider stays high for ball one. Grounder down the line at third. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Hey, that's a heck of an effort by the third baseman right there, selling out to try and save extra bases for the pitcher, but it got through. Now with the plate, Gleyber Torres. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope, that's a ball. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Gregorius leads off first with one away. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. The 1-1 one, one. on its Taylor made to short six four three it's a double play and the inning is over Yanks held in check they trail things here two to nothing.
Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia, set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the fresh run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First offering on its way. 0 oh, and 1 the count. Sabathia ready with the 0 1. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at 1 and 1. Shot weakly to the left. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. And let's take a look at outfielder Aaron Hicks. Hey, some guys figure it out at 21. Some guys figure it out at 30. Some guys never figure it out. Aaron Hicks is one of those guys who has come into his own. He's dynamic on both sides of the plate from an offensive standpoint and has an absolute cannon in the outfield to go along with great range. Rafael Devers the next to bat and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for no balls in one strike into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 ground ball sent back up the middle Gregorius is there throw on to first is in time and Sabathia has got himself two quick outs batting a center fielder Jackie Here's Jackie Bradley now trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch of the at bat. And right into the shift. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. That's lifted the other way out to left. And that's in there. Base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Stepping up now, Christian Vasquez. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Here's the 0-2 from Sabathia. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. The 0-2 once more. Line toward the alley in left center. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More from Boston after this. Next for New York, Jose Reyes, lifetime against Chris Sale. He's gone two for eight. Jose Reyes. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball down near the shoe tops. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Hard hit to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Ken Rowell. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. A high fastball is in there. 
Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and there's one well above the zone for a ball. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Smoke toward third. Devers fields it cleanly. And there's out number two. Up next for the Yankees. Center fielder. Aaron Hicks. Now with the plate, Aaron Hicks. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down two to nothing. Riding in for Boston, Eduardo Nunez, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Eduardo Nunez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. The 1 0. -oh. Lined but speared on a hop. And a good throw gets him one gun. So with one away in the inning, we'll give you a look at the current standings entering plays. You can see that these guys have a pretty good stranglehold on the division to this point. So stepping in, Xander Bogarts. And he might still be a bit winded after the inside the park home run in his first at bat. Pitch to the plate as a sinker for a called strike one. Behind 0-2 now. The 0-2 home. That softly hits a right. Will that get down? And this is taken for the out. How about it? Left fielder. J.D. Martinez. Ready for another chance. J.D. Martinez. First time up, he went down looking. Sabathia into his motion. First pitch on its way. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. But they hold a 2-0 lead. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Aaron Judge. As they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one. But we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs. And this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Stepping in, Jesus Aguilar comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a line drive. 
But this is foul near the seats. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. On a rope to the second baseman. And the runner gets back. No double play. Now batting. Left fielder. Giancarlo Stanton. Now to the plate. Giancarlo Stanton. Over one after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit back toward the mound. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that 0-0 pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. Pitcher can't be too mad. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. So a three-run shot to left center. 34 home runs now on the year. As the Yankees move out in front here, it's now 3-2. Yeah, this guy continues to impress with his bat. He's playing the most demanding position in the game, the position that takes the most out of you mentally and physically, and he's putting up these kind of offensive numbers. Catchers like that are like unicorns. Super rare. Here's Didi Gregorius. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Another try at 2-2. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Now the three and two pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw is up the line as it gets away. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. So they'll slap an error on the catcher there, and you can tell he's not happy back there. So striding forward now, Gleiber Torres. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at-bat. And the changeup is way low that time. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. One and no pitch on the way. 
lifted in the air out to right. Betts has a read on it. He makes the play. Runner tags and hits for third. And in the end, the tag appears to have been a bluff. He's back to second. Now batting. Ready now, Jose Reyes. Jose Reyes. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Skied into straightaway right. Betts waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up, and New York has taken a 3-2 lead. Here's Mookie Betts. He'll stand in now against CC Sabathia to get the inning started. Right fielder, Mookie. First pitch on its way. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Takes a knee high fastball. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's the first out. Opportunity now to take a look at some of the future players in the Yankee organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. Riding in, Mitch Moreland. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the first pitch from CC. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two runs, three hits, and one error on the Boston line score. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that'll wind up a foul ball just to the right of Pesky's pole. Grounded back up the middle. Gregorius has it. And that's the second out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see there, that number has him tied for second in the AL in that category. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth, and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Sabathia sets his sights. First pitch on the way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Pedroia is really a well-balanced hitter. That doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right-hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Just now he's hit the second. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They're down three to two. In now is the Yankees DH, Ken Rowell. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. First pitch coming. Here it is. 4-1. Swung on and missed. One and one. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup.
Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. In now, Aaron Hicks. He swings and grounds it to short, and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the I'm baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for him. Here's big Aaron Judd. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. The 1 0 he is swung on and missed in that strike one. Hicks stands at first with one out. Good idea with the change, but it's two and one. The intent with that change up away was one thing and one thing only get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Come set, now the pitch. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Stepping into the box, Jesus Aguilar. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And now he tries to hold up, but they'll appeal down to first. He went around, says Larry Bullard. It's strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And a neck-high fastball that time. Two and one. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. He cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Full count, three and two. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Giancarlo Stanton now. He's got an opportunity here in a bases loaded situation. and seems like the right man for the job. I'd say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. From the stretch. Up around the face. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Now the 1-0 is taken strike one. A nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow got under it and it sailed on him a little bit. Three runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. That's 
And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. The 2 1. A swinging bunt to the mound. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Now batting. Digging in and looking for more, Gary Sanchez comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Devers has a play. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch. So just the one run scores here in the frame. The Yankees forced to settle for one. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees four and the Red Sox two. In now, Rafael Devers to start things Rangers. out in the home half of inning number five. Rafael Devers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No balls and a strike to count. Zero. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Well he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter and instead of working around the zone he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Sabathia ready with the 0-1. High in the air into shallow left center. And this is taken in by Reyes for out number two. How about it? Captain Christian Vasquez. Next up for the Red Sox, Christian Vasquez. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. A one and one count now to Vasquez. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? He most certainly does. Ten straight he's retired now as that ends the inning. Nice job there by CC Sabathia as his guys keep their 4 2 lead. Into the box now, Didi Gregorius. And he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball just below the knees. Ball one. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. And it's belted high and deep into right center. That's looking up. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Solo shot to right center. Number 21 for him on the season. And just like that, it's now a 5 2 ball game. You want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. 
And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. Hey, it's been a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky, less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he looks at a ball, one and two. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. No outs, nobody on. Hit hard to third. And there's his first base hit in this one. Hey, d are you aware of this? After that knock right there, that's an 11-game hitting streak. You think he knows it's at 11? I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know, you wake up, you've been sleeping easy for almost a week, eight days. Now we're on 11. This guy's dinner tastes different. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a change as that'll be all for his starter, Chris Sale. Just five innings of work for him here as he really never found his rhythm in this one. Nate Evaldi takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Nate Evaldi. Into the box now, Jose Reyes. He'll swing and pop it up toward the left side of the infield. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Stepping in now, Ken Rowell. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Torres over at second. Reyes on at first with nobody out. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. <laughs> Not sure what he saw in that pitch, but it sure looked tempting. And at least he held up. He must have been guessing. One and two as he chases the slider. And this is on the ground is short. Could be two. Pedroia on to Moreland. It's a double play. Now batter. Center fielder. Aaron. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Aaron Hicks. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a strike. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounded in the strike zone. If you could work a couple walks, it could be the start of a big inning. The 0-1 on its way. And that one just missed outside. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now 
Now the 2-1. Pops this one up. Devers is there for it. And that retires the side. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now 5-2 New York. So the plate now is the designated hitter, Eduardo Nunez. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. The 1-0. Nope. That missed. Close. It's ball two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Here's a swing and a bouncing ball hits a Gregorius at short. And there's one away. Shortstop, number two, Sander Here's Xander Bogarts now. One for two in the ball game thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And my gracious, that really drilled him as it rolls toward the first baseline. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Hey, tip your hat to the pitcher right there. That was a streak of 11 batters retired in a row before that base hit. Let's see if he can regroup and keep going. Here's J.D. Martinez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. delivery to him on the way and the slider stayed low apparently for a ball he broke out the slide step there Danny yeah he's clearly thinking about the steal right here didn't happen but the cat mouse game continues on look over from Sabathia here's the pitch a ball and a strike five two is our score here in inning number six And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Standing in now, Mookie Betts, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Sabathia pauses 1 0 on its way. A change up that catches the corner for strike one. Zero. Start of that swing a bit too early. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Red Sox leave one, and the deficit remains five to two. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh, but before we do, here's a look at our game summary to this point. 
digging in to try it again. Aaron Judge. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. To two balls and two strikes now. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. With the meat of the order due up next, you can probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Hit in the air to center field. Bradley has a beat on this one. And he puts it away for the first down. Now batting, the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Digging in now for the Yankees, Jesus Aguilar. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Now batting, left fielder, John Carlo. So here's the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. 5-2 our score as we play inning number seven. Down and away, ball one. Good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Hit the other way out toward right field. And Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're still out in front, five to two. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Checked a swing there and pops this one up. You know what we call that? We call that clean living. To get a knock on a check swing does not happen often. This guy obviously had some good karma coming his way. Digging in now, Dustin Pedroia. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the first pitch from CC. Line toward the gap in left center. In there, a base hit. Now batting, third baseman, Rafael Ever. Digging in once again, Rafael Devers. No hits to this point. Here comes the first pitch. 
fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The one oh. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Moreland on second. Pedroia at first with no outs. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him as we are all tied at five. He's one of the best home run hitters in the league, and rightfully so. You're not going to get cookies thrown at you every at-bat. Most guys can handle a fastball, but he waited back on that off-speed pitch and drove it right out of the yard. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Now a ball Bradley. lined to the left side, but foul. Three runs already home here. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. A windup and the 0-2 pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And that's out number one. Ready for another shot now. Christian Vasquez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat. 1 and 0. Still only one out in the inning. And he takes a cold strike one. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. In now, Eduardo Nunez. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Sabathia's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a ground ball to third. Right there is Reyes on the first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. But the Red Sox push across three on the strength of a three-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth, all even at five apiece. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Zero. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, d -Row, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here.
Now a ball line softly here toward the right side. Foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Missed with a breaking ball. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag and he's safe at first. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Here's Didi Gregorius. He went deep last time up. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? The second for one. On to first. And you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Well, it was a promising start with the leadoff man on in a tie ball game, but there's nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Owen won the count. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Tough slider that just catches the corner for a strike. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally, not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row, but both of those sliders back to back were so good, I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Soft liner towards short, and this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. Down in order go the Yankees. This remains a five all ball game. Digging in, Xander Bogarts. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. First delivery to him on the way. And a ball 1 0. The 1 0. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And there's a base hit. So just like that, the leadoff man's aboard representing the potential go-ahead run. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he will make it in safely. He's in at third as the go-ahead run. It's rare to hit a triple, but he's knocking on the door of history right now. In addition to that three-bagger, which is the hardest one to get, he already has a home run and a single, so if he gets a double next time up, he's going to have a cycle. Here's J.D. Martinez, and he's the reigning American League Player of the Month. Now a bluff here is he'll just make sure nothing's cooking over there at third. First pitch coming. Here it is. A swing and a miss at a ball down. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed rhythm. 
That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Back up the middle. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's now a 6-5 ball game. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them. But when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does. Especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. Here's Mookie Betts. Grounded up the first baseline. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. And he's safe. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes a pitcher can execute his pitch. Doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound and he's going to make a move that'll be all tonight for CC Sabathia they wind up working seven innings but this was not the kind of outing he was expecting I'm sure Benito Velez is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season Into the box now, Mitch Moreland. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. He's working on a one for three thus far. A one pitch on its way. A swing by Moreland and a ball soaring to right field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Home run number 15 for him thus far as they open up a four-run lead. We've seen these squads go yards six times now today. This game has developed into an absolute slugfest, huh, guys? Yeah, Matty D. Well, D. Well, you kind of expect a high-scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah, it changes your whole mindset. Right center's out of the equation. Dead right field's out of the equation. Goes to 380 at its deepest part. Unless you want to hit one down to pesky pole, you're looking to pepper that green monster. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good breaking ball that time in for a strike. You know, you look at this hitter. He doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Hit on the ground to third. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Up next for the red down. Third baseman, Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He had that big three-run homer in his last appearance. Well, you don't see this very often, Matty V, a two-strike straight changeup. But this guy's changeup is one of the best in the league. We'll see if he tries that different approach this time, and maybe if he gets to two strikes, try to use the fastball a little bit more than that straight changeup. One ball, one strike to count. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Four runs here in this half inning. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. Center fielder. Jackie Bradley. Standing in, Jackie Bradley Jr. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. High in the air into shallow left center. Stanton has a read on it. 
And the inning is over. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Bombers. Tough way to make a living. It's now nine to five. Some of the hustle and bustle from historic Boston Mass as we're set for the remainder of this one from Fenway. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He singled his last time out. First pitch on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Martinez on the run. One down. Up next, for the game. next will be the designated hitter, Ken Rowell. Rowell. First offering on its way. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Case in point right there, Matty. We're seeing a trend, the north and south. A lot of pitchers working that elevated fastball and then breaking stuff off in the dirt. We used to see east-west, not the case anymore. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he's set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Into the box, Aaron Hicks. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a 1 for 4 day. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And he'll put this one away, and the Red Sox have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. I expect this series to be a battle, so to take the first game at home is definitely the way you want to start it out. Give that home crowd a reason to come back tomorrow for what will hopefully be another solid performance. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. The Bo Sox seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Nate Valdi gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. CC Sabathia is slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. For the victorious Boston Red Sox, nine runs, 11 hits, two errors, and they left two men on deck. For the Yankees, five runs, eight hits, no errors. The left six men on deck. The winning pitcher is Nate Evaldi. His record is now six and ten. The loss goes to CC Sabathi. He falls thirteen and four. Time of the ball game: three hours and thirty-six minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Fenway Park. 36,298. The Red Sox and Yankees, thank you.